die from guns every day in America. Children die from guns in America. They haven't even experienced the full qualities life has to offer. Would you like to live in a city, a country, a continent, when a problem occurs and the first thing people do is they pull out a gun? Here are only some reason why the government is to blame. With the most amount of murders per year by firearms in the world, there are reasons for these devastating disasters. There are so many shootings in America because the government gave the people, the public, the audacity to buy and own guns without being able to keep them within the law. They need to make a few alterations and establish some restrictions. The amount of homicides and massacres that have happened in America is ludicrous and it is because the control in gun control ceased to literally exist. Guns should be in the trust of specific people that play certain roles in society, not just in the hands of any child, teenager or adult. Or would you rather want to live in a society where you have no guns to protect yourself or your beloved family and friends with. In the past years, America has grown as a country and along with the country, the gun rates have also increased. Guns have been a part of American history and there should be no change at all. The only people who would try to attempt homicides are those who have mental issues. Poor governing isn't to blame. Instead, blame the parents who let their children watch and replicate what they see on TV. However, others may argue that how there are no strict laws in America are the cause of all these gun cases. In 2011, there was a massacre that happened in Norway. Thus, due to these reasons, poor governing isn't the cause of all these gun-related violence. When I was a little kid, even up until now, my mom always tells me to think before you act because it can make a major difference in certain situations. With America, they may or may not have thought before they acted. On the 20th of April 1999, 14 students and one teacher died that day at Columbine High School. Two of the students with various firearms committed the massacre and then ended their own lives. The government didn't try hard enough to prevent this from happening again. Stricter gun control measures need to be established. Adam Lanza, a cold-hearted murderer, used three guns to kill 20 students and six teachers at Sandy Hook Elementary School last year. Those three guns were registered legally to his mother. The police believed the mother enabled her son's fascination with guns by making straw purchases. This happened just last year. Would you feel safe in America? From these events, you can see that there's no control here whatsoever. Do you really think America is to blame for all these causes? On the 14th of December 2012, a soulless and mentally ill Adam Lanza strolled into an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, carrying his mother's Bushmaster. He walked into the classrooms and started to open fire, killing 20 students, none older than 10 years old, and 6 staff members. After the shooting, he later committed suicide by putting a bullet through his head. But there are mental hospitals for these people, right? Yeah, but no one admitted him. Adam Lanza was said to have serious mental issues before the shooting. So how is this the government's fault? Do you trust living in a society where everyone owns some type of firearm? Well, here are some statistics. How many people are killed by guns each year? In Germany, 381. In France, 255. In Canada, 165. In the United Kingdom, 68. In Australia, 65. In Japan, 39. In the United States, 11,127. The rate of deaths by firearms in Australia now decreases every year. In 1996, 700,000 guns were bought off Australians and destroyed by our government. There's an initiative right there. It took guns off the people so there wouldn't be as much murders. As a result of this, Australia is one of the safest countries in the world. In August 2012, John Howard published an article stating that America needs to get rid of their guns. 
This is what John Howard had to say. Presenting ex-Prime Minister John Howard here. Thank you very much. Now, the reason why I may look a bit different is because I got a major tan, I dyed my hair black, and, wait for it, I went to space. That explains the height difference. So what are your thoughts on um, gun control in America? Well, to be honest, Barack Obama and Mitt Romney care a lot about their fellow Americans. Yet such is the strength of the pro-gun culture in the country that neither of them felt obligated to use the Aurora tragedy to start a serious debate on gun control. Thank you, Mr. Howard. Well, welcome. You're so welcome, alright? No worries. Yeah. So do I get paid for all this? There are less firearms in Australia than there are in America. Look at the difference here. The less guns there are, the less bullets there are being fired, and the less amount of people that are dying. There was a shooting that happened at Buell Elementary High School, where a six-year-old shot another six-year-old. Derek Darnell had bought a 32 caliber handgun from his uncle's home. He had bought a firearm along with a knife. Further on in the day, whilst his class was changing classrooms, he pulled the gun out, and before he shot six-year-old Kayla Rowland, he said, I hate you, and then shot her. The bullet passed through a vital artery in her arm, thus leaving her to bleed to death. Derek Darnell was then later on found in the bathroom corner crying. The bag of this child wasn't checked correctly. Therefore this is caused by bad parenting and not poor governing. That's only talking about one person though. We're talking about many, not just an individual. Yes, but that life still matters. She was the youngest person to have ever died in a school shooting. If America was stricter on their gun laws and only allowed specific people to own firearms, then the public wouldn't need guns to feel safe because there wouldn't be many potential threats. You see, if you have a gun and your next door neighbor has one as well, then you're both on the same level. If you don't have a gun and someone else doesn't have a gun, then you're still both on the same level. The difference is, in the first situation, you both have the potential of killing one another easily. In the second, you don't. The people that shoot have guns are the police, sportsmen, and civilians that need pest control. America, put your guns down and surrender so that there isn't any more tragedies and devastations. Blood, sweat, and tears don't need to be shed, and our children don't have to die young. Let everyone live a happy and joyous life. However, countries with strict gun laws also have very sad tragedies. Take the Norwegian for example. In 2011, there was a massacre that happened where 85 young souls were killed by the hands of Anders Beru, where he walked past the security gates and walked onto the island with his Ruger Mini-14 and open fire. He killed each child one by one. Norway has very strict gun laws, yet this happens. One of the worst devastations of mankind. Because of this, America's governing isn't to blame. All in all, the bottom line is that the less guns, the less amount of killings, and the better the political leaders, the more the country's society is under good management. If massacres are consistently happening in America, then there is no one else to blame but the government. From 2010 to 2012, over 20,000 lives will have been lost from a gun-related incident that isn't related to the government at all. People will attempt to do these massacres in their own will. And because their minds are troubled, they may also commit these crimes because they are young and they don't understand the meaning of a crime. However, despite all these reasons, others still may argue that America's gun laws aren't strict enough and that there will be a continuum of gun-related problems related to the government. However, countries with strict gun laws also have very sad tragedies. Therefore, America is not to blame.